Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a Facebook Messenger for your Facebook page onto your website. I've got two methods for doing this, uh, and sort of one, they're both pretty simple, really. Uh, one's simpler than the other, and um, I just thought I'd show you how you can do this on a WordPress website and uh, get people to talk to you to directly to your Facebook page via your website. And this doesn't require them to have their Facebook account logged in or anything, they can chat as a guest, so it's, uh, it's a pretty handy sort of uh, tool. Now I'm logged into my uh, Creator Impact Facebook page here, and I'm just gonna basically go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll down on the left panel here on desktop and go to settings. And then I'm gonna go here to messaging. And on the right, so that's settings and messagings and then messaging, and then on the right, we've got a couple of little areas here we can use. The first one is just a simple messenger URL. You can just simply copy this link I'm gonna tab across, I've got two websites open I'm gonna be uh, doing this to. There's the main one, which I'll sh shut down after, and this one. The first thing you do, I've copied that link, so I can pop that link anywhere on my page. But if I wanna add, say, something up here in the navigation, I'm simply gonna go down to test site, to, uh, this is like the website name, to menus. And I actually don't even have a menu for this site yet, so I'm going to say, create a main menu as a primary menu. Add these pages for the sake of the video. You don't need to do this yourself. This is where we add the link in. If I go to custom links, I can simply click in the URL area here and paste that link that they have given me, which for some reason hasn't included the HTTPS. I don't know why that's the case. But if I copy link to clipboard, and paste again. Okay, I'm actually going to add this in. This is probably something worth noting because it does actually, I'm pretty sure it is required, HTTPS colon slash slash. So I'm gonna add that HTTPS colon slash slash to the start of that. If we can say, message us. Add to the menu. I save this menu. I'm gonna go and view the website now. This is just a little test site I put together. So now when I'm here, I click on message us and it logs into the Facebook Messenger so I can start talking, which is pretty nifty. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. The other way is to actually have it embedded into your site, so your little emblem at the bottom left or bottom right that people can click on to start a conversation. So I'm going to actually uh, go here to add Messenger to your website and click Get Started. And it, a, little, a little window pops up here, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. Click Next. I do zoom in for these videos, so yours shouldn't be cropped the way mine was. I zoom in so it's easier to watch the videos, so you should be able to zoom in and out easily enough. Straight away, you can see how it's gonna look. Now, I can see here I've got a greeting. I can actually go through and edit these. I can say, hi, welcome to Create Impact. How can we help you or how can I help you? And that way you can prompt people. If you've got something specific in mind, like if, like if you're a, uh, Say you're a mechanic, you can say, would you like to book an appointment? Please message us here or something like that. Guest chat is on, so that means that they don't have to be logged in. If you prefer people actually have a Facebook account, you can turn that off, but um, I'm just gonna leave that on. I'm gonna save this uh, personalized message and I'm gonna go down here and click next. You can see here, I've got it, uh, I can have it left, left aligned on the screen or right. I prefer right. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the blue because my branding is primarily sort of black and white, but you can say pick a, any color you want from here, or if you know, happen to know a hex color, so mine will be say something like 333333 for a dark gray. Uh, I can change that branded color so it matches my website. Automatically expands turned on. I actually, not a huge fan of that, kind of just like takes up space in the page, so I'm just gonna turn that off. So that way they have to click for that to expand. And you can see, even if that's turned on, on mobile, they still have to click for that to pop up. So I'm gonna just leave that turned off for now. So I like the way that looks, I'm gonna click next. And you can set up some automated responses here under your frequently asked questions. But uh, if, if you don't have anything there, you can simply add a question and start typing anyway. Um, I've already got some here, so, uh, but I can turn that off if I want to. If I can, you can see here, I can, have that, so I've got some questions. 
I'm gonna turn that off just for the sake of the video. And uh, I'm pretty good to go, so next. Now I'm gonna be adding this to two domains because uh, one of my websites uses the Divi theme and I wanna show you guys quickly how you can do that in Divi, but I'm gonna do that at the end of the video because if you're not using Divi, um, this will be how you do it without it. So I've got Creator Impact and just a test site I've got uh, together here. I've got, I'll add the code to the website. All I do is click here to copy that code. It's now been copied. I save this after adding those websites in. I click finish. And that says the plugin is ready. So all I have to do now is insert it onto the website. So if I tab across here to this test site, I'm gonna go into the dashboard. Now you may or may not know how to add code into a WordPress site. If you don't, that's fine. I'm gonna show you a plugin you can use by going to plugins, add new. You type in insert header footer, enter. You'll see here we've got insert headers and footers by WP Beginner. I'm going to install that plugin now and activate it. And now all I need to do is go under settings, install headers and footers, and click on that. And I want to scroll down to scripts in body. And I'm just going to click on here and hit control V to paste the code that I copied from Facebook earlier, which I, like I said, if you click back, I'll just go back for a sec. All you need to do is click on here and it'll copy that for you. So yeah, I've pasted that here, scripts in body and I click save. Okay, so now all I need to do is go and check out the front end of my site. And you can see we have this here. It has actually automatically popped up for some reason. Um, but that's basically how that works. And um, so when people rock up, they can see that on your website. I'm actually gonna go back to Facebook for a second. I'm actually gonna take back for a second and make sure automatically expand is turned off. So we're good there, we're good there. Copy again, finish. All right, so that's how you get it onto a website without the Divi theme. Now the Divi theme has its own code insert and I have had trouble getting other code insert plugins to work even just for the sake of videos. So I'll just show you if we go into the dashboard here I go down to Divi, theme options. Over to integration. And you see how I've got enable body code enabled. So that's, I do want that on. And I'm gonna scroll down to body and I'm going to paste the code in place. So now the code's there, I scroll down, I save changes. and I open up my website. You can see that it's popped up. Now, I'm not sure why that pops up un, uh, what's the word for it? Why that pops up sort of unprompted despite the option being there. It's probably just a, a minor glitch. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, something to do with Facebook's code. I would have to double check that, but essentially, if you want to use that, try it out for yourself. See, you might get the same issue, you might not, but that's basically how it works and um, how you can get that going. So yeah, that's, that's how you can get Facebook Messenger on your website, nice and easy. I hope you found that useful and easy to follow. If you did and you want more videos like this, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It does help support the channel. It allows me to make more content like this for you guys. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to speak to you again soon. See you later. Hi guys, just a quick little bit on the end here. I did notice, uh, there was a bit of a glitch with that Facebook uh, area popping up automatically. Now, what I've actually done is I've gone into here and I can show you a little bit, I'm pretty sure this is a fix, try it out for yourself, where I've gone to next, uh, I've got everything set up here, uh, I've got this turned off. What I actually did was I went straight back in here, I turned it on, I turned it off and I skipped forward because I noticed when I checked that nothing changes in the code, so it's probably a local, something, some information that Facebook stores locally, I'm pretty sure. But if you want to be safe, you can copy the code again. But that's simply going back to area two, turning it on, turning it off, clicking over to area four, you can copy your code, finish, or you can simply keep the same old code. And uh, I found without even updating the code on my websites, so if I click here and refresh, 
clicked it. Now, it doesn't pop up automatically. Also, there may have been a time lag from the initial setup, but now it actually stays there. It doesn't pop up automatically. So I just wanted to add that on the end for you guys. If you have any issues with that, just give that a try. Head back in, change that option. Maybe even give it a few minutes and see if it updates. So cool. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you next time.